excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? It's KMB, the Sexy Ninja, and the place to be for a Paper Saver Universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're talking about Collision, June 29th, 2024, the night before Forbidden Door. Nigel and Excalibur are on commentary. This blew my mind. This was like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> But I, I was like, okay, I'll take it on. But let's see what we can do here. And uh, we started with Ishii and Orange Cassidy versus TMDK. Um, Shane and Robbie, you know, homies of Mr. Zack Sabre Jr. Because Orange Cassidy has a match with him at Forbidden Door. Uh, this match was fun. Uh, Ishii and Orange get the win. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, but we get Hangman Adam Page. We get a promo video saying he's coming back. And I, I was trying to figure out, what's the song? The song sounds so familiar that they used on this package. I'm, I was trying to figure it out. So if you can tell me what the song was, drop those comments below. I'm, I'm very interested because I actually did really like the song that was being played. Then next up, we got Jericho. God. And he's, he, I'm glad he wasn't throughout this show, but it, it, he goes to the trainers. He's like, hey, guys, you got a problem. I'm like, no, stop. God, just stop, please. <laughs> um, then we get Stephanie versus Lady Frost. Stephanie gets the win over Lady Frost, and I'm like, man, I really love Lady Frost. But Mercedes Monet is on the side of the, is ringside, and you know this sets off the motion. They go face to face. Stephanie attacks Mercedes Monet, and she's holding both titles up because it's title for title at Forbidden Door. So we shall see how that goes uh, because Mercedes Monet attacks, and then here comes. Uh, Stephanie's partner from CMLL, you know, uh, Zeusies or something like that. I, I hope I got that name right. <laughs> but, yeah, it, 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 I don't know. It felt like it was a little bit of a mess. Then we go to the Lexi with the Lucha Bros and Alex. Death Triangle? No. <laughs> um, Mystico is going to be in their tag. I mean, I don't know. The Zero Hour is a little bit too stacked. A little bit too stacked, but I'm going to enjoy Zero Hour regardless because that's what we should do here is enjoy the pro wrestling uh, that we can get by all means. Then we have Serena D versus Kelly. Serena D gets the win, cuts a promo after, says, I want the best of the best inside this company. And guess who answers that call? Riho. Riho comes back. I was like, Yay, Riho. She's back. Then we get Jericho again. And again. Oh, and but my favorite part about this whole thing was Joe, Hook, Shibata. They attack. And I was like, oh, thank God. Take out Jericho. Fuck Jericho. And we and but we know who's the third person that's gonna help Jericho and Bill fight Hook and Shibata and Joe. Jeff Cobb, no, I will say I, I got super excited seeing Jeff Cobb. I was like, oh my god, Jeff Cobb's here, but he's working with Jericho. <laughs> ah, pain <laughs> in my chest. Pain. <laughs> um, We got a package promo for Zack Sabre Jr. We go to Lexi with Orange Cassidy. Here comes Zack Sabre Jr. A little feisty. A little feisty feist. So... Uh, I, I think they're going to have a great match. You know, two very different wrestlers inside that ring. I'm very excited to see what they can do. Then we go to uh, Hechicero versus Kevin Blackwood. Whoever he is, squash gang. Hechicero for the win. We get Lexi with Christian Cage and family. You know, saying that they want the trio championships. And here comes Bang Bang Gang. <laughs> Jay White bringing zingers. Bringing them left and right. <laughs> I gotta say, man, that's why always in this house, it's guns up, baby. Uh, Daniel Garcia versus The Butcher. Daniel Garcia for the win. Daddy Magic on commentary. 
But Daniel Garcia shows the Butcher some respect, which I really enjoyed. Then we have Lexi with Will Ospreay. And here comes the Don Callis family. And they're like, hey, man, you know, you got your weigh-in tonight and whatnot. I think weigh-ins are stupid in pro wrestling. I'm just putting that out there right now before we get to the end of the show. I'm just, they're just stupid. But here comes Don. And Will says, hey, can one of y'all come out there with me? Because I know that Will, um, that Swerve will have his his crew with them. Don says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Kyle Fletcher goes with Will. And then here comes Roosh. And I'm like, oh, please. I understood that they were teasing it with Don and him beforehand. I I don't want Roosh to be part of this family. I really don't. Roosh is uh Roosh can be somebody without them. That's just my that's just me. Then we have Lexi with Jack Perry because he's in uh the last match of the night. Uh and here comes Christopher Daniels says, Hey, uh, you know, I know you're bitching about not you you didn't want to be in this match, but you are in this match, and if you do not compete in this match tonight, you are taken out of the ladder match. At Forbidden Door. And Jack Perry says, Fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> Sheeta versus Deanna Perrazzo. And I was like, Deanna Perrazzo losing. Sheeta, like, I was like, Ugh, I like Sheeta too. So it's, it's like a like a double whammy for me. I was like, all right. Well, but Deanna Perrazzo kind of pushed it aside again. But she gets pissed. She attacks Sheeta. And here comes Thunder Rosa. I was like, Ugh, I thought we were done with this. I really did. I scratched my, I not scratched, you know, rubbed my eyes a bit. I was like, I thought we were done with this whole feud, but I guess not. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett promo for this Owen Hart tournament. And they are really, really building this up. And I'm going to cry because I know Jeff Jarrett's not going to win. And how much emotion he's pouring into these damn packages. He's like, this is my best friend and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, you're not going to win. Unless he is, unless this is what we're building, but these like twice in a row we're getting hit with these uh, packages, you know. And even uh, everybody in his crew, like Jay Lee, was like, "He's gonna do it. We're not gonna be b- we're by his side in the ring because we know that we believe in Jeff Jarrett." Well, <laughs> yeah, uh, we go into our main event: Jack Perry, Fantasmo, uh, Takeshita versus Mark Dante and uh, Rio. This was a fun match. Jack, Fantasmo, and Takeshita get the win. You know? So, yeah. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and we go into the final part of the show, which I just... I just don't... I, I don't know. Weigh-ins for a professional wrestling match, show, whatever you want to... Like, I don't... I I just don't like it. You know? And Will, <laughs> Will Ospreay automatically is like, Hey, I'm stripping down to my boxers. And I'm like, okay... And Swerve does it, but I, I don't know. They they do the weigh-in and everything like that for the heavyweight championship. I just don't like them. I, I, I think they're stupid. I think the worst one I ever saw was, didn't Cody Rhodes do one in AEW with, uh, with Big Show? Or Paul White, whatever you want to call him. Didn't, didn't they do one? And it was just god-awful. I mean, garbage. If I remember this right, drop those comments below if you remember this. But yeah, and this way in was eh. the only best thing about this is how Will <laughs> took out Swerve, knocked his ass out. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> Swerve was like, I'm like, where am I at? <laughs> oh, man. So a lot of stuff building up to Forbidden Door. And I got to say, overall, this is OK. The show was eh, mild for it being a go home show. Uh, match of the night. Uh, I really don't have one. Well, Ishii, Orange Cassidy versus TMDK. I, th- I think that would be the best match of the night. It was fun for what it was. Uh, moment? Mm, I don't know. Just take out the Jericho shit. Just re- please, for God's sake, take out the Jericho shit. Please. Tony Khan. I don't know what he has in his contract or well, however much money you spent on Jericho. Please. Overall, I give it a... Two and a half out of five. That's how it was. It was just, yeah. It was Collision, June 29th, 2024. We're off the Forbidden Door. I'm very excited to watch Forbidden Door. So like and subscribe. Uh, tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Uh, share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. Go to prowrestlingtees.com slash New World Podcast and get yourself that sweet NWP shirt created by Penta X. And remember that the New World Podcast is for life. Brother, that's what Manai has in her mind.
She said there is a price to pay when you mess with Monet.